Dragon Court. And welcome back to another episode of Star of the Command, where I'm Price Plus One, I'm Admiral Tarek of the Dreadnought GCS Chromaticon. As we continue our campaign against the Klingon Star Empire, and the last time, we have been shoved away from Klingon territory all the way back to our hidden black hole base at 9-5, and unfortunately we shoved away from our hidden base inside enemy territory of 6-8. With the super battleships and just the monstrous amount of Klingon Dreadnoughts starting to take the field, we are in a bit of a rough spot. Trying to get our way into Klingon territory is proving to be somewhat difficult. But, if we actually manage to get our way past the initial defenses, we might be able to get something done. So let's set out into space and see if we can't just put a little bit more pressure on the Klingons. I'm hoping to just eventually shove them back until they're no longer a factor. So, my main concerns right now are the fact that so many super battleships seem to have taken the field, and we really kind of can't take on super battleships as we currently are. Unfortunately, even in the Chromaticon, which is kind of a tailor-made dreadnought destroyer with its super heavy plasma torpedoes, we've got two R-type plasma torpedoes, it's crazy. Uh, it's not even capable of really trimming the shields of a ship like a, a B-11 super battleship. So that does put us in a bit of a bind. However, we do have, as luck would have it, the Enigma mission today, which will allow us to basically ignore the enemy for the most part, because the in first initial salvo the enemy is going to send is going to be completely limited towards this disabled heavy cruiser, or light cruiser right here. So we have nothing to worry about. And it's a frigate as well. Oh, lovely. So we're going to start the day off by being able to basically annihilate a little tiny defenseless frigate. I approve. Mainly because a fair fight is not a fight that you should ever actually find yourself in in this game. And if you do, you need to rethink your tactics and maybe even run away. So we're going to increase the speed of time. This battle is going to be quite quick. Uh, we will check to see whether or not there's, there's anything over here we're stealing. There is not. Okay, it's empty. Uh, sometimes there's things like medical supplies or dilithium crystals which can be stolen. Which, they're very useful to have. Uh, I probably am not even going to need my, my additional power granted to me by the electronic covers. Oh, it is a carrier. A mini carrier from frigates. That actually would be a pretty dang- well, five fighters, okay, maybe not. Hi. I think by maybe not, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that it is death. It was. Lovely. So that is the first of the enemy defeated. It wasn't even- and, you know, the universe came in and just annihilated the enemy light cruiser. So that works out perfectly. So, an excellent example of what this thing is supposed to do. You get in close, you hold on to them, and you blast them with so much plasma that they have no idea what's about to happen to them. One of the fun things about our enveloping plasma torpedoes being mixed with a pair of plasma Fs is the fact that the plasma Fs can't envelop, and so they will always go for the actual ship itself, instead of wrapping around to damage all the shields. Which means we're dealing 60 damage pinpoint every time we do that. Pinpoint-ish. Which is a bit of an advantage, so we are able to basically trim around all of their shields, take them all away, and then hit them with another 60 damage that is just going to go right for their face, and through their face, which hopefully will damage and disable them and allow us to follow up with our incredibly anemic Phaser 1 armament. Seriously, this is, this is refit heavy cruiser levels of Phaser 1 for the Federation at the very least, so that's pretty terrible. We're not super psyched about it. So we are in a convoy assault mission, uh, we are in the, f in the intercept far position, we start far position because uh, they're blinking into existence, which means they were beyond our range of 100. The close intercept position generally puts you also right on top of the enemy as well. Don't have a line of sight on the enemy, although I think this D5 is... yeah, that's him. He is indeed our primary target. Have I started... oh, I did not start enveloping the plasma torpedoes. That's unfortunate. So we're going to do basically the exact same thing to him that we did to his little frigate buddy, although it's probably going to take every single shot that we've got to actually do it. Once we kill that... oh, there's a bunch of Q-ships. Ooh, okay, uh, fleet screen. Hi. Uh, we got a Q-ship there, a Q-ship there, a not Q-ship, and a freighter. So, two of the four ships so far that we see on for the freighter group, those are actually Q-ships, which are armed with a fairly significant amount of firepower anyway, which is a bit of a problem. But it does mean we only need to kill one light freighter and one, fr uh, converted frigate to a freighter. So, not the worst thing in the world. We could probably take it on without... Okay, I was about to say without too much trouble, but the problem is those Q-ships are packing missiles. Missiles and fighters are something we really do not do all that well. I mean, we can lob pl enveloping plasma torpedoes at fighters, and that does a lot of damage to them, but I'm fairly certain that a fighter can take even an enveloped pl plasma R torpedo to the face and still not be fully dead. And if you don't completely kill the fighter squadron, then it was pointless. Because then they'll just come back at you, and that's terrifying. 
Uh, yeah, first of the Q-ships has started entering into the fray. I will... Uh, yeah, I'll take one of my points of power. I already have the charge. Uh, we have enough time in order to charge again, so we should be able to hopefully take him down. Uh, this guy is still going to be a pain. Just because of the missiles, I don't want to have to use my phasers, but I'm probably going to have to. How many defensive... Uh, I have three defensive tractors. Okay, I'm going to make use of that. Hi, buddy. Um, I'm not going to give you a chance to do things that I don't like. I'm just going to start to slow down, give myself a little bit more defenses. You dropped a mine. That's very cute. That's plasma. That's even cuter. So, weakened. Penetrated. Not quite enough damage, but I'll drop a mine here. And I'll let you go. And I'll hope that you die. Plasma torpedoes to normal mode. I don't need the enveloping anymore at this point. I'm going to hurt him quite badly as we pass by. In fact, um... I may end up just marining this guy. He's got three. We want to be out here for a while, though, and he's, ooh, he's traveling too slow for the mine to actually get him. Yeah, go for it. Just take him over. I don't want to have to worry about him. So we've eliminated him from the fight. He's basically dead anyway, so it's not that much of an elimination. This guy, on the other hand, he has three missiles. That guy over here has three missiles as well, which is painful because a lot of missiles against us is not exactly good. Although we do have enough envel uh, enveloping tractor beams. No, we do have enough defensive tractor beams to be able to handle that. Although his disruptor armament is not inconsequential either. Oh, wow, you've got advanced ones. That's kind of dumb. I'm not... I'm, I find it a little bit weird, the fact that you have advanced fast missiles, which are incredibly expensive. Drop in mind. But hey, we're going to deal with it as it comes. How much part I got available? I have basically nothing. Um, you know what? I'm just, we're not even going to bother with full electronic warfare suite. We're going to go this and this. Give me two points of power into the ECM. No points of power into the CCM because I don't need it. I have enough firepower to kill any of these guys without even so much as blinking. And we've taken that out. Can I drop another mine here, or is that not a great idea? Uh, it's a bit of a middling idea, actually, because most of the damage we're taking is from the port side. Hi, buddy. I've got a plan for you, and that plan is to basically hurt you very, very badly. Um, defensive shields, go over here, because that's where the enemy's coming from, and I don't need defense from the front at the moment. Tractor beam, are we almost prepared? We are. Lovely. So the Chancellor Kratos. Kratos? Not close enough. Hi, you're dead. Uh, you're, you're a frigate. I know they're not in developing mode. You're dead because that's just going to be enough damage to kill you. Lovely. All right, so that's dead. We have just one more freighter left to defeat in this convoy, and we will perfect, be perfectly happy to move on after that, although we will come back around and kill the Q-ships for a little bit of extra cash. I mean, as long as we don't take any real penetrating hits, I don't care. Uh, swap that and that. Actually, no, like so. You need to remember that you're clicking the buttons that you want to operate, not the ones you want to change. So we'll switch over to these two. It'll only give us a couple of points of defensive power, but that's perfectly fine. The Zakov Lov. Zakov Lov. Hi, a little bit of love there. Hi. Ooh, not quite. Um, you're still actually too defended for me to steal your ship. Uh, making my life a little bit more difficult than otherwise would need to be, so I'm just gonna set myself up right here. Hi. Who, who tracked her too? He tracked me. Huh. Gotta say, I don't think that's a great plan. I mean, I could be wrong, but wow, you're doing a surprise amount of damage from the More incoming missiles. There are, of course, fast missiles. So we're gonna make sure the tractor beam is fully red. I might be able to kill him with this follow-up shot. Um, maybe not though. I only have ph phaser ones, of which only six will shoot forwards. Okay, we got him. Marines, you're done. So I'm gonna pass around on this side just to defend myself from any sort of incoming attacks. You're gonna kill yourself. Oh, he! Ha! <laughs> That's what they're firing the missiles at. They're killing my little stolen guy. Thank you, Deep Slayer. You were useful for a little while. You, oh, you're a ticking time bomb. All right, so we've dealt with the first uh, initial enemy shot, and we are now going to... I don't have time to do the enveloping plasma torpedo. If I did, I would, but I, I don't. Power, all power to forward shields. Prepare to defend and attack. Mostly attack, actually. We're, we're not really here to defend anything. We're here to finish off this convoy, which will be done in a little while longer. Three marines to his one, plus taking the bridge. It's not going to be all that difficult. Unfortunately, the convoy will blow themselves up for reasons that I cannot quite puzzle out. Like, I kind of understand Klingon captain saying, like, oh, death before dishonor and all that, but... But, like, a Federation freighter would do the same thing, and that just seems weird to me. How much part do I got for free? I got tons. Okay, let's let's sap that budget a little bit so we can actually get there a little bit quicker. We don't want to spend all day just bombarding a convoy. I mean, we could, but... Oh, we couldn't. There's that... No, we could. We literally could. Uh, if we didn't have Marines and I wasn't willing to use my weapons on full power mode, I absolutely could do that. All right, so I'm uh, not going to be able to use our phasers on this one because he's going to be launching a whole ton of missiles at me. And I could just ignore you. I mean, if you really want to turn that much, I'm willing to just let you be. 
Oh, no. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Oh, that's very bad. That's very bad because he's about to be active. But you're dead. You, you're just as dead as your buddy was. Hi. Uh, it's just you. The Zuck of Love exploded upon capture, Junior Commander. Wow, that is possibly one of the most insulting titles possible in this game. Your Junior Commander. Thank you. Uh, he was watching my power consumption tightly. He was like, oh, I got him. I got him now. No, you don't. <laughs> you really don't. You think you do, but I have words to give you now. Uh, by which I mean nothing at all, actually, because I don't have enough phasers to do the whole phaser battleship sort of thing. It really is something that's kind of, I wouldn't say unique to the Federation, but we went all in on Plasma. We're basically a Romulan Dreadnought without the cloak or the maneuverability. So, not the worst thing in the world, but getting kind of close there. I suppose at the end of the day, we could be a Federation Dreadnought. Oh, uh, the Federation early Dreadnought has five photon torpedoes. Yeah. Talk about your overwhelming firepower. I'll blast it with whatever I got last. It was like three phasers. Four phasers? Yeah, that was pretty really sad. That was really sad. I managed to hurt him more than he hurt me. Because we actually forced him to expose more damage. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have done that. I don't have defenses in the back. But you know what? I've, I'm fine. It's got to be great. I've got another turn of this before I've got my plasma torpedoes all sorted out. Get ready for him to just... Yeah, that's what we're expecting. The missiles... All the missiles. Oh good, we're almost set. So let's prep an actual tractor beam. So a holding tractor beam will be all set up. We're going to do to him what we did to his buddy. And unless he's managed to prepare some sort of defensive tractor propel beam. Don't be absurd. Uh, we probably got him dead to rights. So let's increase the speed of time. We'll slow it down once we get close to the enemy. Because like missile defense tractor initiations. Also are judged based on the speed of the game. So hi, I think I've got you dead. Maybe. Potentially. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just... Okay. That took a little bit longer than intended. Almost ten minutes. Are you kidding me? Woo. That took forever. But we took out the entire convoy, so that should be a decent amount of cash, and that should help us continue to push towards the enemy. And that is, of course, the goal. Uh, 300, 466 prestige. Not bad at all. And that neutralizes the tile. Oh, we've got a chance. We've got a chance to recover our homeworld. Another convoy raid or a scout. We'll take the convoy raid. Scouts are a little bit... I don't think they actually affect the Empire Defense of anything. So we've got to take the combat right if we actually want this, and we do. Uh, we are in the Far Chase? Oh, I didn't target anything. That's why it's confused. Yeah, we're in Far Chase. That's not good. Okay, uh, Plasma Torpedoes to Enveloping, of which it's actually only two. So really, Enveloping Plasma Torpedo Mode is not nearly as penalizing to us as it is to most Dreadnoughts. We have the capability to kind of do it without caring so much, because we've only got two Plasma Torpedoes that we're overloading. Whereas if we were, say, a standard Dreadnought, we would be overloading three Plasma Torpedoes. Because a standard Dreadnought would be a, a single R, two, two S-type Plasma Torpedoes, and two F-type Plasma Torpedoes. Although I do wonder, well, I know in raw damage amounts which one has more, but eh, yeah, we're a bit undergunned. We are definitely undergunned. Okay, what do we got for the enemy defender? We don't yet see him. We do see a couple of freighters. I'll do a quick check through. Let's figure out, um, are any of you, none of you appear to be, yeah, none of you are actual Q ships. Okay, so we have that to work with. Uh, did our enemy... Has not yet, okay. So somewhere out there, there will be a light cruiser or a heavy cruiser, or potentially a battleship. I mean, they, you could escort this with the super battleship. I would kind of question your motives for doing that, but uh, you could do it. Oh, there he is. It's another light cruiser. Okay, so we are actually dealing with a D5U. Not sure what the D5U is carting that is different from other D5s, but we're going to find out relatively closely. Uh, how much power? Okay, I'm good on power. We're going to walk up right on top of him. We're, this time we're going to be hitting him with full enveloping plasma torpedoes and plasma and just lovely amounts of damage. So we do, of course, need to be a little bit faster on this one. So once we finish him off, we're just going to sprint to the head of the combo. In fact, I'll probably just give him one salvo and another tractor beam, and that will probably be the way we deal with him. Because he will probably get away, or they will probably get away if we come around to just continue to try and whittle him away with the rest of our weapons. So plasma torpedoes are ready, tractor beams are ready, we've got some power. I'm gonna steal most of that power. Uh, ooh, you're a fighter carrier. No, not good. Fighters, fighter carriers kinda suck for the Gorn. I mean, we do not defend ourselves well against them. I think I mentioned this a little while. Oh, it's your only phasers. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay, slow down a little bit. I know it's gonna suck for the follow through, but we gotta do it. 
Hi, um, come on, faster, 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 faster. Okay, good, perfect, lovely. Um, yeah, plasma torpedoes to normal mode. That gives us more power, which we are going to steal. Oh, we're going to steal it all. Hi, you are the freighter at the head of the convoy, and so I'm just going to run right for you. It maximizes the speed of time while we recharge our plasmas, so we can actually have enough firepower to just annihilate everybody. So he'll be easy to kill, he'll be easy to kill. These three freighters are going to take a little bit more work to- oh, tons of power, tons of power, use it! I don't have time not to be using all the power in the universe. Because we do have to get to the head of this convoy. Uh, we are probably going to go through and just track to me, or not track to me, but transport everybody. Four marines. I've got four people I can send over at a time. You've got two. You've got two. You've got four. Yeah, so the light freighters are... Oh, no, he's also packing four as well. Cute. Hi, um, I'm basically going to ignore you. Do I care? A little bit. A little bit. It did make me feel not happy about myself. So, Blink. Unfortunately, we had to use a little bit more power than I otherwise would have liked, but I am also going to start a tractor beam. Let's get the holding beam going so I can make sure to kill you. It might be able to do it just with the light plasmas, and if I can, that would be preferable. Because that will allow me to then turn around with my R-type plasma torpedoes, and those are incredibly deadly. Actually, no. You are... You are so weak. Hi. You are not as weak as I thought you were. Plasma torpedo! Okay, stop pushing him so quickly. Send in the Marines. Okay, let him go. Let him go, we got him. He is done for. On to the next one, engage the tractor beam. Um, really, it's you. So I'm going to zigzag through here. That'll be the plan. How close are we to the edge? We do not see it yet, which is good. Uh, we need a little bit of time to get everything done. Phasers are almost fully charged. Power, I have some. So, I'm gonna hit you with a truck. It's a fairly big truck, too. Plasma torpedoes. Uh, just the R-type plasma torpedoes, and we're gonna see what we can do with just R's and a pair of phasers. And pair, I mean all the phasers we have. A fast carrier resupply. Hi. Have some of this. And then a little bit of this. Once they hit. Oh, we didn't even need the phasers. Uh, we wasted the phasers anyway, though. Lovely. Uh, so the first freighter is defeated. This freighter will be defeated in just a little while. We're down to one of threes of that. It's working for us quite nicely. Uh, I am actually in a perfect position to engage this guy. By perfect position, I mean I have a pair of plasma F torpedoes and nothing else. Hi. I may as well. Oh, whoops. I didn't do it properly. Mistakes were made. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Uh, let's get the tractor beam ready again. This guy will be easy to take because he's only got two marines, so we just need to kind of open up the shields and we'll come. Then we'll come over, take this guy, then we'll come back for this guy because he stopped. So, stopping in a convoy is a very bad idea. When you get strung out from everybody else, you're probably not going to have a great day. Uh, tractor beam is charged. We're going to just get right up on top of you. I do have a plasma torpedo ready to blow down your, your defenses, but I think I'm going to use my phasers instead. And there we are, phasers. Lovely. Marines. They're done. And let him go. On to the next one. Forward shield back, please, so I don't take damage through. And there we go. Okay, lovely. On to you. I have a single plasma torpedo. Um, but I may actually be able to cause enough damage to you to make all of this worthwhile. Maybe, perhaps. Uh, it's gonna be tight. Hi. Every gun I got, I've got a single eye for the plasma torpedo. Okay, there goes the head of the combo. He is done for. I just need a little bit more damage, guys. Just a little bit more so I can send over marine marine boarding parties. They will handle all of this for sure. Oh, good. Uh, transporters were not ready. That is unfortunate on several levels. Increase the speed of the ship. Look, oh, actually, we don't need to. We're already in a position that follows up on them. Probably could have killed him doing that. <laughs> it was entirely that chance. Increase the speed time. I got him. Phasers are ready to rock and or roll. And on to the last one. Hi. Um, yeah. You're about to get the full amount of love that I can grant to you. You you got within sight of the border. Not physical side of the border, but sensor side of the border. So, props to you. But this, this is where this ends. Hi. Torpedoes. He tried. He did. He tried hard. Alright, so that's an entire convoy defeated. Thanks to our wonderful Dreadnought. By wonderful, I mean if we had actually had to fight a battleship, we probably would have had to just run by the battleship to go and do this. 
because otherwise there's no way in heck we could have fought the battleship and then taken this on. We take too long to do anything. All right, lovely. A decent amount of prestige. And it's back to us. Haha, we have once again captured the planet at 6-8. It's very weakly held, so we're going to have to do more work to actually hold this. But that's going to have to wait for another episode. Anyway, I've been Tirak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If I see a notification every time I post one of these videos, press that little bell icon. Leave a comment and I will see you all in the next episode.